Baptist Church legacy. Many, my brother back in the 70s, his home going was here before I even knew about. So, so many have taken place. You know, Bishop McClinton, throughout the years, we've watched his life. The good, the bad, the ugly, still enduring, not given to the swift nor to the strong, but the one that endures to the end. He's still enduring. And it takes the living power of God to endure the things we have to face. My God, I thought about this morning. Not to even bring things, but your daughters went on home to be with the Lord. The baby, I was blessed to be a part. The Lord dropped in my spirit. Never fellowship personally one on one, but at that time she became an assignment that was in my heart. Bishop, God is good all the time. Hallelujah. He's good all the time. Hallelujah. Hold on. The breath that we're breathing is his breath of life. Send people in your life, and the devil will send people too. No, look. 
So you got to know when, when the devil sends people in your life, you got to ask God, is that person supposed to be here? God will let you know. But I thank God for the great man of God. I came here in 94. I got baptized here in 1995. Praise God. We got history with the church. Amen. We got history. But I'm getting ready to sit down. One more thing. Um, he always been the same. He never changed. Amen. He always been a great man of God. Praise God. He not in it for, for the money. I know he in it for the souls, believe me. He loved people and he loved souls. Amen. I know that for sure. Amen. But I'm just glad to be here this morning. Um, just happy and I'm just, thank, thank God to be alive. I got delivered 28 years ago from the crack house to the church house. 28 years ago. Amen. 28 years from the crack house to the church house. Amen. And you know what I learned? You know, people ain't going to cheer you on all the time when you think you just deserve kudos, but you know what? You just have to remember where God brought you from. That's right, that's Amen. Right. You can be your own praise team on the inside. Come Amen. On. You don't need a lot of people to pray. You can praise God for yourself. Amen. One more scripture. I'm going to sit down now. The psalmist said, this I recall to my mind. This I recall to my mind. I'm reminiscing. I'm looking back. Therefore have I hope. I remember what God done for me. It wasn't, it wasn't man, it wasn't woman, but it was God. Hallelujah. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is, the, it is of the Lord's mercies. Yes. Minister, right there, we're not consumed. We're not destroyed. God didn't let the devil destroy us because he loves us that much. We might have messed up, did wrong, but God did not let the enemy destroy us. God kept us. Hallelujah. God is not slacking concerning his promise that some men count slackness, but God is long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It ain't God, it ain't in God's will for nobody to leave here and go to hell. Man will tell you that you're going to hell, but that ain't in God's word. God didn't give the preacher the authority to preach nobody in hell. God gave the preacher the authority to preach people into the kingdom. Amen. Jesus is the only one got the keys of hell and of death. The preacher ain't got it. The preacher ain't got the keys of hell and of death. Jesus got the keys of hell and of death. And he's the one that determined where we're going to spend our eternal life at. So I encourage you today to choose the Lord. Amen. I'm a living witness. He did it for me 28 years ago. I know he can do it for you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, I was asked to do an A and B selection, but I knew in my spirit that my husband had something he needed to get out. Hallelujah. Always a good word. And when you can hear the testimony of what God has done, it's real. Hallelujah. Singing about the song, I found the answer and I've learned to pray. It's good to have that prayer life. Someone calls it meditation. It's prayer. But when you can have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Heavenly Father for yourself, He have brought me out of every situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I found the answer. I've learned to pray with faith to God. I found, I found the way. The sun is shining, Lord, for me each day. I found the answer, and I learned to pray. I was weak. I was walking into darkness. Lord, I could not find the way. But then the light came shining to lead me from that spell. And all my sins were forgiven. And I was free from care. I've learned to pray with faith 
to guide me. I found, I found the way. The sun is shining. Lord, for me, stay. I found the answer, and I'm. Always count your blessings and always stop to pray. Just learn to keep on believing and faith will see you through and seem to know contentment and it will come to you. To guide me, I found, I found the way. The sun is shining full on me each day. I found the answer, and I'm Told me, she said, you know what? 
first off, we, we met we met at the introduction of a funeral a funeral of uh, one of my uh, y'all know the story. If you follow me on Facebook, what happened? So I'm not going to go too far into it. But we uh, she she was asked to be the musician at the uh, the home going service. How I many you know it's different between a home going and a funeral? Right. Amen. Uh, Amen. We te we're teaching already. There's a big difference between a home going and a funeral. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. when I go in the ground canteen, they gonna have a home going. Yeah, there ain't gonna be no funeral. Amen. There ain't gonna be no funeral going on. But this young lady, she came and, and I spoke with her over the phone. The, the family asked me to, you know, give a couple. Of, the, the, well, brought me out of retirement and directed a couple of songs that we used to do back in the '80s. When God blessed me to be able to do that, and I'm retired out, but they called me to the carpet again. And so we, we was introduced to each other as her being a musician and, and me being the director. Y'all know how, how it goes. And um, and we talked on the phone for a few hours, right, wife? We talked on the phone for a while. We talked so long, we, we became family on the phone. And so she's here today. I just want to thank you for coming out today. This woman whooped that organ upside down. Y'all got to check it out on Facebook. She on there. She whooped this organ upside down, tore that Leslie down. Y'all didn't know music, you know what I'm talking about. She gave God all the glory and all the praise on that organ, and she honored God with every key that was played. And again, I want to thank you for coming out on today, too. Um, come on, give God a hand, praise. Um, real quick, we're not gonna we're not gonna bore your time, but we do gotta give a couple of shout outs to 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 to, to everyone. Sister Regina, I love you, Mama. Oh, you love me, so Sister Regina. I remember her being a baby. I was my grandpa. I remember her being a baby. I just look younger than she do, but you know. Yes, yes. But I remember her as a little baby. And I just want to honor God for all the, all the success that you have. I've been following you. you know, I've been following you through Facebook. I see your steps. I see it. I see it. So I honor God for your life and your journey. Um, um, oh, my goodness. Somebody sit in the back in their favorite seat. Now, I used to tell you, I used to wonder this I, I, This is Pam. Give it, to, give, give it to my wife right there. She'll take her. That's for help me. She, she do a lot to me, y'all. Dealing with Pastor J, you gotta be, you can't be half ready. You dealing with me, you can't be half ready. You gotta be fully ready. So, um, hi, Sister Pam. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you at my, my, my choir, but don't you see my plenty gospel singer right here? This, this church got 74 years. 74 years. And we came to celebrate. We came to celebrate. I came to celebrate. Um, at this time, we're going to move on a little faster. It, I, I'm just full. I'm just so full of our sin, so many faces. You got to forgive me. But we do got a word from the Lord for you. So don't Amen. leave. Amen. This, day, this might be your last day. I've been to two funerals this week. Today just might be your last day. And you want to make sure you walk out that door with the right decision in mind. This day. Yes, this day. Um, Sister Nancy. Yes, sir. You ready to do something for my birthday girl? Uh, y'all y'all know her on Facebook as my uh, big little sister. Come on, give God a hand praise for Sister Nancy.
the 37th Street Baptist Church, and I knew nothing about this location. But Betty and I had sang together at Community Church on 24th Avenue. And when she heard me, she said, I want you to come. I'm the vice president of the local over there. Not knowing that Johnny Evans, who I've been knowing all my, all my life, was the president. <laughs> but when I walked in the door, Mr. Evans was sitting over there in the corner. And he said, Sister Collins. And I looked and I said, oh my God. And he said, what you doing here? I said, I was invited to come by Betty Rowland. And he said, oh, that's my vice president. And I came here ever since, up until five years ago, when our local relocated to Berkeley. You know, but I still love 37th Street Baptist Church. This is my second home. I tell everybody that's my honorary pastor. I have a church home, but this is my second home. And I know I can always come here on even any given Sunday and, you know, worship the Lord. You know, we, this is what we do. So I actually pray I'm a little bit winded, but it's okay. You know, asthma is no joke. So I just ask you to pray for me. This is a song that I sang when Betty uh, invited me. I don't know what I would do.
along uh, swiftly as, as, as we can because we got to get to this word. This word. It's the only meat on the, on the table. Oh. And, so, and, and, my, and my uncle, and I feel so honored every time I get an opportunity to, to speak God's word because that's all I do is speak what it says. It's his word. Yes. And so I count it an honor just to be here on today to, to do this. Uh, yes, Lord. With an invitation from my bishop. Yeah. My bishop. My uncle, he ordained me into ministry. I have some friends that, that got ordained in ministry. I'm going to let you know how serious this thing is. That they was ordained as ministers. But because the person that didn't walk the walk and talk the talk. Come on now. Up, they eventually had to change their name. You don't want to be under a, a, a name of someone that has been sworn in his travel and ministry. So I have some friends that, that had other ministers ordain them because they was walking the walk and talking the talk, but the person that ordained them, you know how it is. Come on now, come on now. I know y'all don't know nothing about sin. Y'all y'all blood feel y'all good for us. But I'm trying to help you with those that don't, that that's been struggling. Them the folks I like to reach. I like to reach the folks in the day that have been through something, know something, yeah. that we can travel together and say, hey, you got a piece of corn bread, yeah. I got some meat, I got a little piece of bacon with me, and we can come together and put it yeah. together. You yeah. know, I like them kind of folks, the folks in the hood. But they everybody say that's no good. Them the kind of folks I like to get. But I like, yeah, we can do, we can do something together. We can make some things happen. Because they have the, the Bible says only the pure in heart shall see 